ancient of days, King of kings and Lord of lords, we will appreciate your greatness, supremacy, and love towards mankind. Thank you for the ways and manners you created humanity. As I have come together to study under your feet, please open our spiritual eyes. Amen. Speak to us from above. Amen. Bless the listeners, the viewers, and the discussants. Amen. Give us divine grace to know and understand our differences. Amen. For we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome you all to today's Bible study. Wherever you are listening to us to the radio broadcast, or you are watching us through the social media, may the good Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Venerable Ogumbi Adiemi, uh, it's my name. I'm the anchor man for today's uh, Bible study. Here with me, by the right hand side, I have with me Dr. Hadeboe Taito Sainde. Uh, Dr. Ayinde, you are welcome on board. Thank you, sir. Uh, how was today's uh, service? We really bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here with me, by the left hand side, I have Mrs. Monica Awofi Soye. Mommy, you are welcome on board. Thank you. God bless you. How God. was uh, today's uh, service? Oh, beautiful. Thank oh, you. Glory wonderful. to God. Yeah. You can send your text message to us, or you can WhatsApp us on this number, 081-471-94912. Again, 081-471-94912. One, two. God bless you. Uh, the theme of our Bible study that we have been considering is God winning formula for marriage, love, and respect. Uh, please turn with me if you are with your Bible study outline to chapter 5. We are on page 10. Chapter 5, we are on page 10. Uh, last week, we discovered and acknowledged the differences between men and women based on the way they think or reason, the way and manner they speak, the way they view things, and the way they react to situations. Today, our topic for discussion is the differences in male and female. The subtopic that we want to lay more emphasis today is accepting the differences. Once we have known the differences, now how can we accept uh, the differences? Let's move straight to our Bible text, Exodus chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Ecclesiastes 7, 13 and 14. Consider what God has done. Who can straighten what he has made crooked? When times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider God has made the one as well as the other. Therefore, a man cannot discover anything about his future. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let's also read Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Verses 7 to 10. Reading from verse 7, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Go eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart. For God has already approved what you do. Always be clothed in white and always anoint your head with oil. Enjoy life with your wife whom you love all days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun. All your meaningless days. For this is your lot in life and in your toilsome labor under the sun. Whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For in the realm of the dead, where you are going, there is neither working nor planning nor knowledge nor wisdom. Uh, thank you very much. I am a study is to remind us that the differences in male and female in marriage is natural and that we should make best of it. 
the way God created us, divorce. So husband needs to understand his wife and ditto to the wife. Introduction. From the start, with the first married couple, Adam and Eve, God intended that marriage relationship be strong and lasting. That was the purpose that God created and instituted marriage to be strong and lasting. So we are talking about durability in marriage. Nothing has changed this fact. It remains. It stands forever. But it is equally true that the prayers and problems of today's world prove too much for many marriages. We have seen, we have heard about marriages that have started well, but because of the stress and the problems, the, 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 the such marriage encounter, it has collapsed. But God never made a mistake to have created woman being, male and female. No. Physical, physically and emotionally, there are bounds to be differences. Do not forget that they were not brought into the world, nurtured and brought up by the same parents at the same time. And in the same home. When you look at the husband and the wife, both have different cultural background. And then once they have come together as husband and wife, they have to walk and accept uh, their differences. I pray that God Almighty will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, for our discussion, let's go straight to the first question and that question uh, goes to doctor. Outline the differences in a way in man and in a woman in marriage. Outline the differences in a man and a woman in marriage. Doctor. Thank you, sir, my moderator. We look at this. Our knowledge and understanding of individual differences is also applicable here. Yeah. Basically, we may want to classify different, uh, four different areas in which we can find differences in man and woman, especially in marriage. First, when we look at them physically, in terms of sex, male and female, and which is also related to gender, masculine and feminine. And we also consider these other ones, A, B, C, A, affective, and in terms of the way they feel things and the way they express emotion. If we also consider them on the platform of behavior, we may consider or we may reason that men are somehow hard and to think before they hurt or before they perform any action, unlike their woman uh, counterparts. And if we also look at it from this level of cognitive, the way they think, you know, their thinking processes, and we just discover that men seem to be logical in the way they think before they rehearse, but women, on the other hand, are very emotive and that is what i have to say about the uh thank you area. Uh, dr mm. adeboye Ayinde. Mm. as you have said that uh, when we look at them the way god created male and female physically they are not the same and also uh the way they reason the way they think the way they talk as you have said, that when we look at it from affective point of view, uh, from behavioral point of view, and also from a cognitive uh, point of view, uh, does that mean that um, a male, uh, male are more logical uh, and then uh, women uh, are more emotional? Of course. Men are more logical and critical in their thinking processes and the way they act towards or interpret anything around them. But men, women, on the other hand, are very emotive in their reaction to things around them. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam, uh, Mommy, Awo Fisoye, from your own opinion, how can you see the first question that, uh, what are the differences in a man and a woman in marriage? 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, so I agree that there are differences between the man and the woman. Because uh, the, the make of some, the use of something or the compost depends on what it is made of. Like the man was made from the sand or from the ground, while the woman was made from the rib of the man. So the man is strong, he's visionary, he's logical, he's, he's a leader and he's creative. While the woman is emotional, she's sensitive and she's willing to follow her husband or follow the man as long as the man is able to lead or continues to lead. Where the man fails to lead, then the woman can overtake and begin to take action. So yes, the woman is, is different from the man, but these differences are there to complement each other. Like the book of Romans says, all things are working together for the good and for the profit of humanity. And that is the way we are going to make it. Praise uh, the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Um, Awo Fisoye. Yes, I can deduce from what you said that um, women are helpmates, not helpmates. They are to complement uh, men. Uh, is, is, is it true? Yes, that is true. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 19, it says, the, and God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. So it's, the woman is there to meet the need of the man where he needs it. They are not in competition. So he, is, they are not mates, M-A-T-E. No, they are not mates. It's a help meet, M-W-E-T. And so the woman should make herself available as at when the husband requires her. And the Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, the second question uh, goes to Madam. Uh, how do you think one can handle the differences in male and female in marriage? based on uh, what we have in uh, First Peter chapter 3, uh, verse 7. Praise the Lord. To handle the differences between the male and the female in marriage, we need knowledge and wisdom. Like you know, wisdom is the application of knowledge. When you know that there are differences and that these differences are meant to complement each other, we need a determination to make things work. If we look at the book of Ephesians 5.21, it says, Submit to one another out of reference for Christ. If we also look at 1 Peter 3, verse 7, it says, Husband, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers. So by understanding this, then we'll be able to work together, utilizing what God has given to us. Like the man is visionary, he's strong, he's active, oh, so he goes out searching for what to eat and how to feed the family and how to provide for them. The woman is at home cleaning, preparing the food for her husband, and when he comes, welcoming him with love and care and a beautiful smile, you know, and ready to take care of him, you know, when he comes home. So we see that when we use it together like this, there will be love, there will be peace, and there will be joy in our home because that is the purpose of God. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you. Doctor, do you want to ship in something? I also had this. Yes. As part of what can be done to handle this situation and the differences in male and female, we may also consider the fear of God with respect to image and God's design role for man and woman in marriage. For instance, if you look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, that God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, and that if they have respect for this, and whatever God has made your husband or your wife, you know is in God's image, you have respect for that. And if you also look for that, the assigned role, and if you consider Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, which was read the other time, that he consider woman as a help meets, a meets for the husband that if we try to live by that rule and it 
can help a lot. And further to that, I may also want to add that learning to hand respect eh, from each other or from one another. We check Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. And woman, submit yourself to your husband. In verse 25, he instructed man to love his wife. In that respect, if they can just live to that, they will hand respect from each other. And through this, they can handle their differences for that. May God help. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, listeners at home through the radio broadcast, or viewers at home through the social media, as uh, our discussant have said, that uh, we can handle the differences in male and female in marriage based on one, fear of God. That we need to fear God. Then two, husbands need to love their wives. Very, very important. And then women, wives, uh, need to submit themselves uh, to their husbands. I pray as you do that, the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. As I've earlier said that you can reach us through this number, 81 Four seven one nine four nine one two. You can only send your uh, text message or you WhatsApp us. And that God bless us richly in Jesus' name. Uh, question three. Uh, let me ask, Doctor. Uh, consider the works of God. For who can make that straight which He hath made crooked? Relate this to what ought to be our attitude to the differences between husband and wife in marriage. Thank you, my moderator. What should be the attitude of the couple in this regard should be to pray and for the grace and for the fortitude and to accept what they cannot change. What God has created in them as husband and wife and cannot be changed and they should learn to accept and, and pray for the fortune to bear it and get along. And in addition to this, they should also learn to accept and value and their union. And in the sense that what they have been made of by God. And in Genesis chapter 25, uh, 2 verse 25, it says they were naked and mm. they were not ashamed. Naked. And in that they at least value their existence as husband and wife and they did not see anything wrong with them. And through that, they can just get along. And that is what I'm also suggesting for couple, husband and wife, that they should value their uh, union. That is my submission. All right. Thank you, Dr. Adeboya Inde. Uh, Mommy, do you want to ship in something? Yes, please. I want to um, add Romans 8.28, that the man and the woman should know that all things work together for good. Also in this same book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible says, God has made all things beautiful in his own time. So we must accept and determine to utilize whatever is in each other profitably for the benefit of the family and to the glory of God. Whatsoever is in your husband, use it positively and profitably. Whatsoever is in your wife, use it positively and profitably because God has not made a mistake. In bringing you together. Remember the first day you saw each other and you decided that you love one another. So continue to see good things in each other and use them to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, mommy. Uh, as we all know that uh, Rome was not built in a day. So what we call marriage, we need to understand it very well. As our discussants have said it today, uh, because uh, the way God created us, he created us male and female. So what we need is to accept uh, one another. And I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in conclusion, a common complaint in male or female relationship problem is you don't just understand me or in other words you want me to be just like you. That is simply not the way things are, and we should not wish it otherwise. Men and women are different. 
and thank God that they are. A husband should not expect or desire his wife to start thinking in a logical and a analytically centered way. He does likewise. Or a wife should not look to her husband to see things through her emotional framework. Uh, like my Oga will say jokingly, that uh, when you look at we, we, women, when they say that, uh, well, I have nothing to wear, it doesn't mean that uh, she has uh, no clothes in uh, her wardrobe. But what she is saying simply means for her to put on that is suitable for that occasion, she has it. She has uh, nothing, yes, to put on. But when you look at men, when men, when they say that they have nothing to wear, it means they have no clothes at all. Uh, so we have to understand uh, the differences. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. And then we have seen it today that um, emotionally, women are there. You know, the way they express themselves, uh, why men they are very logical. Uh, uh, doctor, would like that men also are very, very diplomatic in, 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 in nature. <laughs> or critical. Yeah, okay. Straightforward at times. Okay. <laughs> men, generally. Okay. So, both should learn to value and celebrate the vital differences that God has built into each other. So, food for thought. Do you value and celebrate the vital differences that God has built into each gender of the creature called man? If you have been doing that, oh, that is wonderful. That is, if you value your husband or husband, if you value your wife, that is a wonderful. But if otherwise, please try to value and celebrate your husband. I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, our memory verse is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, uh, verse 9. Please, I will read. Enjoy life with your wife. Enjoy, Enjoy life, life with your wife. wife. Whom you love. Whom you love. All the days of this meaningless life. All the days of this meaningless life. That God has given you. That God has given you. Under the sun. Under the sun. All your meaningless days. All your meaningless days. For this is your lot. For this is your lot. In life. In life. And in your toilsome labor. And in your toilsome labor. Under the sun. Under the sun. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, sincerely speaking, I want to thank our discussants today, Dr. Adeboye Ainde. Thank you for your coming. Uh, I hope that anytime we call you, you surely come on board. God bless you. Uh, also, our mommy, Mrs. Uh, Monica Awofisoye, thank you for your meaningful contributions. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you, too. Also, the listeners at home, through the radio broadcast, and viewers at home through the social media, I say a very big thank you. As I've said earlier, you can only send your text message or WhatsApp or through this number, 081-471-94912. Thank you. Let us pray. God Almighty, you that created humanity, male and female, with differences, help us to understand and accept our differences Amen. so that our marriages will be a blessing to our children Amen. and our society. Amen. We ask that those marriages that are passing through the turbulent period, give them peace and stability. Amen. For we ask through the merit of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Till we meet Next week, remember, calm, safe, and blessed. God bless you. Amen.